Hey y'all, done with debt here. I know I haven't been on my channel in a few weeks and I wanted to do a video and let you guys know what was going on. Um, sorry for the lighting. Uh, it's very late at night. Um, I'm in my house, it's raining outside. And I just wanted to come on here and share with y'all what's been happening. Uh, I really don't know how to start this video, but I just wanted to come on and just let you guys in on where life has taken us and what's been happening. Cause there's a lot has happened in the last two weeks, but you know, sometimes that happens in life. And so I wanted to share that with you and just keep you guys updated. So the biggest thing that has happened is my husband started working again. In my last video I talked about how he uh, had back surgery back in December and he has been in recovery since then and uh, I believe it was back in late June, early July, he received his uh, paperwork from his doctor saying that he was clear and he was able to go back to work. And since July he'd been putting in, you know, applications and you know, posting his resume to places and nothing was really biting. And uh, if you're new to my channel, I am in the, I am in Texas and I am in the Houston area. So Houston is recovering from Hurricane Harvey. And uh, it's been over a month since the hurricane hit us and we are still recovering. There are still uh, places that have water in their home. And um, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So. Because of Hurricane Harvey, uh, Home Depot actually was in dire need of workers. So my husband went on and he was saying, you know, okay, he applied with Home Depot and he's worked with Home Depot before in the past and he just resigned to go to another job so he didn't leave like any kind of bad juju or anything with them. So, you know, they hired him on immediately. However, my husband was hoping to do part-time work and because of the, you know, the need for workers, uh, they hired him on immediately as full-time and rushed him through orientation and he has been working. Uh, he is working the night shift so that has changed our schedule dramatically and um, it's been really good he's really happy to be back at work and I'm so proud of him for what he's doing so that has been a big uh, factor in our job in our life and um, <clears throat> for me for my job I actually had a change in my job as well. I um, I went into work one day and we discovered that our company, our corporate company, had sold our job, our building, to another company. So we were acquired to another company. And so that company was going to uh, own us and manage us as well so there was this big tizzy going on at my job you know oh who's getting fired who's getting resigned who's leaving and it was a lot of uncertainty for the last two weeks because um, the company that purchased us not a lot of people knew much about them and you know all kinds of rumors fly around and I will say this the new company did do their very very best to ease us through the process and explain to us that nothing was going to happen everything was going to be fine and so forth so you know long story short it was a uncertain two weeks but in the end everything was fine the company kept everyone at the same pay rate, at the same schedule, um, but it was just a lot of uncertainty going on, you know, at work, and that's never, that's never a, a good thing. The final thing that has happened in the last two weeks has been that 
Um, as I mentioned, I am in the Houston area and we are dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. And my sweet sister, she went through the hurricane and had absolutely no problems. And then one, I believe it was last Sunday, she calls me frantic that her ceiling had caved in. And uh, it turns out that her roof had leaked and it was had collected water during the storm. And then something was also going on with her AC unit that the water was leaking through the ductwork. And so her entire ceiling in her dining room, in her kitchen, in her hallway, in her bedroom, in her closet, I mean, everything came down. So she came and stayed with me for a few days um, with my niece and nephew. So there was a total of, let me think, seven of us in a two bedroom apartment, plus her three dogs, and then my dog, my cat. So she stayed with me for a few days, and, uh, and then she went and stayed at our mom's house while they were repairing the house. Another thing that also happened was that my husband's truck needed some uh, major repairs. His starter was going out, his ABS system was flashing, and the sensor needed to be replaced. Um, so his truck needed some repairs as well. And so because of all these changes and these new developments, our emergency fund has been completely depleted. And let me explain why that is. Uh, I talked about in my September video that, you know, we had supplies that we needed for Hurricane Harvey. My phone went into the bath, into the water for my son. So our emergency phone was down to $500. Well, through the weeks of September, through the last, you know, first half of September, we managed to get it up to about $815. But first the car repairs came out and that was about two, 250. And then when my husband was hired on, they needed him immediately to start. So my son watches, I'm sorry, my husband watches our son during the day. And so now that he was starting at night, there was no way that he could watch our son during the day and work at night. So we quickly had to find a daycare solution for our son so that way my husband could rest. So immediately, you know, we took uh, the money for the daycare, which was almost $400. Um, trying to think what else we used. My shoes uh, from work came apart. So I needed work shoes and that was another $40. So also when my sister stayed with us, we got some extra groceries, so that was an extra $100 that came out of the emergency fund. So when we took a look at our purchases and we looked at our budget, we realized that we had gone through our entire savings. And it's discouraging because we were already trying to build it back up from August. And now September comes and now it's completely wiped out. But I want to talk to you today. I want to be real with you today, tonight, whatever time you're watching this, because I'm not the only one that's been here. I'm not the only one that has done this before, where you're at baby step two and you have to go back to baby step one and you get halfway through baby step one and you're all the way at the end and it just feels like you can't get traction. I'm talking to you. And I'm talking to myself because you gotta keep going. You gotta keep pushing forward. I have to keep going. I have to keep pushing forward because even though the hits just keep on coming and the punches are thrown and the enemy doesn't quit, it doesn't mean that you have to quit. You quit when you stop trying. If I get paid tomorrow or get paid next week and I stop trying to put 
money in that savings account and I stop trying to attack my debt, that's when I quit. That's the moment that it's all, it's all for nothing. If I am at it every single day, and I am trying every single day, regardless of the hits coming, regardless of how hard they are, if I'm at it, I'm already winning the battle. And that's for me, and that's for you out there. Because sometimes it just feels like you're never going to get under. Sometimes it really feels like, <sighs> I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And I am done. But I'm done with my debt. Not with trying. Not with fighting this battle. Because I may have lost a battle, but I'm not going to lose this war. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it together. Because my husband's working, and I have to focus on the positive. You have to focus on the positive. You have to look for that silver lining because that's what's going to push you forward. So my husband's working. He's starting to work. Yes, we have this additional expense of the daycare, but my husband was hoping to work part-time, but now he's working full-time. Not to mention Home Depot is also adding incentives for new workers because they need so many. So I have to keep that in focus. I have to keep that in perspective. And I know that very soon I'm going to have a video that says, you know what guys, guess what I did today? I accomplished baby step one again. And then later on, I may have another video that says, guess what, something happened and I had to dip into my emergency fund. But that's why you have it. That's why you have the emergency fund. Because when your sister's roof caves in and she needs a place to stay and you gotta get the extra groceries, just take care of it. You know, when your shoes decide that they're gonna talk and you need non-slip shoes at work because it's required, take care of it. So, it hurts that what you work so hard for takes so quick to be gone, but when you need it, you're so grateful that you have it. You're so grateful that you have it. I hope this video inspires you. I hope that it gives you hope if you feel hopeless and know that you're not alone. You're not the only person out there that feels like, why am I doing this? All I do is take two steps forward and one step back, but you took one step forward. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you are blessed and safe wherever you may be in the world. Leave me a comment, like, hopefully subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a good night.